What I have here is a collection of errors for you. Uh, I'm outside. Uh, it's bright sunlight, but my face is in the shade, which probably means my face is too dark. But if I step back a little bit, so my face is in the sun, now I've got a squint, and that squint is, is interrupting my communication with you. Uh, because I'm outside, it's, 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 it's actually just too bright on my eyes, even though it makes the camera work well. I'm wearing red. Red is not a good colour for video, it's too strong. It can create problems, especially when it's being compressed, and certainly it will create problems on, on VHS tape. Um, so try and avoid red as a colour. I'm standing up. Because I'm standing up, uh, I don't exactly know where I am in the frame. If I had somebody else operating the camera behind the camera, they could adjust so I was, I was framed nicely, but because I don't have anybody else that I'm working with, I'm doing this by myself, uh, I'm not exactly sure where I should be. I mean, should I be here? Or maybe here? I don't know. That's why sitting down is a lot better, because if I'm sitting down I can frame up on the chair, then go sit in the chair, I know I'll be in a predictable place. Also, if I had a camera that required focusing, that would be a, a, a big help to know where I was going to be. To, to know where I was going to be precisely, not just approximately like I'm doing here. And also the camera's not level, and I've deliberately skewed it. And if you've got a geometric frame of mind, you'll notice that there's the lines on the wall behind me are, are skewed, and uh, it's probably driving you up the wall. Um, some people it doesn't seem to worry about, other people it really does drive them up the wall. So make sure your camera's level. Don't wear red. Do it sitting down. Avoid bright sunlight. Um, nice diffuse light is good. Bright direct sunlight tends to be poor. Now what I hope you've noticed in the section that we've just seen, where I've been outside, is that the sound was probably quite clear and it didn't have the, the reverberant quality that the sound has where I am now. Uh, that's because outside is, it's very dry. Um, there, there are no surfaces for the sound to bounce off and so your voice just goes out and, and there are no echoes coming back. So that means you get very clear audio if there's no wind. If there's wind, it will really ruin the recording. Now, carrying on in my series of how to do it all wrong, um, here I'm sitting in, directly in front of a bright window. Now what's happening is that the bright light outside is cause the camera is, is exposing for the bright light outside, meaning that me, inside, um, will be very dark and possibly even black. I, I can't see, but I, I bet I'm pretty black. Um, just to keep things uh, as bad as possible, I've left a whole lot of junk on the windowsill uh, so that that's going to provide a visual distraction. You'll be able to see the junk and you won't be able to see me. Uh, it'll be, it will lack uh, intimacy and engagement and it'll all be a bit um, poor. So, what not to do? Don't stand in front of a bright window because you'll be silhouetted. And don't leave a whole lot of junk providing visual clutter. Uh, get rid of as much stuff as you can. You want the, the interest to be focused just on the, the important stuff, which is if you're talking, it's you. Or if you're doing something, it might be your hands. But get rid of clutter. Beware of bright light behind you. Carrying on in this set of doing it wrong, this one's only slightly wrong. What I've done is I've lifted the camera up, so now I'm looking up at the camera. And as you'll see, it's just not quite the same as when I was looking straight at the camera. When I was looking straight at the camera um, on, on the, the same level, it was a much more immediate connection, whereas this is just kind of just slightly weird and just slightly less impressive. It's a bit patronizing. And for what it's worth also, um, this is the way that people often take photographs of kids from a standing position looking down on the kids. It's much better if you're taking a photograph of kids, you get the camera down the eye level. Same principle is at work. So camera on the eye level, neither looking up nor down. Now to finish off this, this set of dodgy practices of poorly done videos of uh, a collection of errors, um, I'm holding the phone in my hand. There's no value of mic, but I'm outside, so um, the sound's probably not too bad. Uh, and also the mic's actually, the camera's quite close to me because I'm holding it in my hand. Most importantly what I'm doing though is uh, I'm holding the phone the wrong way up. I'm holding it in what we might call portrait orientation as opposed to landscape orientation. And what that means is that if you're seeing this on YouTube you'll notice that you've got a tiny little picture with big black bands on either side. And uh, it, it just is... This would be fine if people were going to view the videos on a phone 
well if they're going to view the videos on a on a, on a tablet on an iPad because people can turn the videos the right way up but by the time this has been encoded into YouTube it's been set into this into this square peg in a round hole format of a, a box that goes up this way and a screen that goes that way and the results are not very good. Also I'm hand holding the camera and even though I can hold it reasonably still uh, well there's still a bit of distracting movement and to make matters worse I'm making sure that I move around a little bit to keep lots of distracting movement in the background so that uh, um, hopefully you're not feeling too seasick now but um, you know there's another collection of things to do wrong. Don't do it like this. Don't hold the phone. Don't have a phone camera this way up. Always have it sideways.